Hey YouTube, it's me, Ladies Man here. And for starters, I just want to say sorry about the camera quality. I'm not using my original camera, so if this is this is bad quality, then um, leave your comments below, and I'll I'll redo it. But enough of that. Um, today I'm reviewing the game Pocket God. Hands down, five out of five, ten out of ten, whatever you, whatever scale you want to rate it, the best. Uh, entertainment I've ever had. Um, what it is is you're the god. You're you're the god of these people of these things called pygmies world, and you can do whatever you want to them. Now let's get into it. It's by Bolt Creative. They they know how to make a game. Is it, I was very impressed. Now, um, sorry if the the game's backwards, but uh, I'm using my webcam, so I'm sorry about that. Now, as you can see, right when we right when we jump in, you you find a, a thing called a pygmy. Now you can see a shark uh, took my pygmy and it killed it. So um, let's just go over the buttons first. The plus button up here that means you can add more pygmies. Um, to your to your little island, and this this is a drop down menu. It's like an option screen, but um, it's cooler. It's way cooler. Now I'll go through all these little icons. First, this is like uh, the special like the special effects that you want. Um, what it's highlighted right now is a dinosaur egg, and you can also highlight that, and it automatically switch, which I think is fairly cool because it doesn't even lag or anything. It automatically goes to it. So I'll go back to dinosaur and I'll show you what that is in a little bit. This up here is your scenario changer, or like your scene changer. Um, you can you can differ the scene however you want. Um, you can just like tap them and add them. Um, now as you can see, the bathroom right there. When you click the bathroom icon, it closes. But when you click it again to activate it, it opens. And then the fish, the fishing pole disappears. And what these are, this is the dinosaur that, um, whenever you use the egg, the dinosaur pops out. And this is the spear that they give you so that you can kill it. Um, now right here is a really cool one. It's the lightning. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, you can tap it like that to change it. Or... Um, you can swipe your finger across the sky to change it. Watch. As you can see, <clears throat> when I flicked it fast, it changed it. But if I if I go slow, then it won't change it. But if I flick it fast again, it changed it. Now that right there, that's a shark symbol. That um, will change that little shark from going past. And uh, this, that gives you like the names of the pygmies and stuff. Right here is like a little, um, like a little forum thing that you can use to like chat with other people who use, who have used Pocket God. But I, I don't have an account, so I won't get into that. Now let the game just blow up one more time. And and if you want more app reviews, um, and um, like product codes or uh, promo codes you just subscribe to my channel now um, right here this is like the configuration like um, options main options right here um, you can have sound on or off that one is uh, waves this one you can have like uh, the accelerometer which uh, you can use to make your pygmies fall off the island. Watch, I'll show you right now. If you tilt it to the side, your pygmy gets all wobbly. And if you keep tilting, they'll fall off. This one is just like a... Like a little... Um, what's it called? I know people out there already know what it's called. And they're probably laughing at me. But I forgot what it's called. But it's like a little info sheet um, about your pygmy. Now let's go back and 
the last option is to put the names underneath the pygmies. Um, now this this is just like a little intro guide teaching you how to play it, what to do, what everything means. So I am I am very impressed on how well they got the how to down. And it is just awesome how well they did it. Now I'll show you the features of each of the islands. Now, um, first is, well, I need more pygmies, so, uh, you go up here to the add icon, and you click it as many times as you want until you reach the max number of pygmies you can have. Now, as you can see, one pygmy is fishing, but if I don't want him to fish, I can move him, and I can pick up the fishing pole and give it to him. Now, as you can see, he goes and picks it up and starts to fish. Now, the cool thing about this is you can pick up the pygmies and move them wherever you want. You can raise them and just let them drop. But the cool thing is they will never die if you drop them. They will only die if you shock them with lightning or uh, kill them some other way. Now, watch. To make them eat the fish, you take it. To make them eat, you grab like a fish or a coconut, and you take and drop it right in front of them. I guess, see, as you can see, he ate it. Now, one pygmy is inside the bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pygmy and drop it right here. Apparently, he wants to eat the fish. Now, as you can see, that shark keeps going by. What you can do is you can grab the shark and drop it and sometimes it will eat it. Now let's go to the different island. Right here, this thing, if you tap it three times, it will kill a pygmy. Or multiple pygmies. Now as you can see, the pygmies will burst into flame. Another thing is, you can tap this anthill and uh, make them move and eat a pygmy. Another thing you can do is you can take this magnifying glass and you can burn a pygmy. Now I am about to show you one of the coolest features or two of the coolest features I have seen in a game in any game. When you swipe your finger across the screen it changes the thing. Now there are two things you can do do with this um, this storm setting. You can either get lightning. Watch, I'm gonna write a message. I said hi, and you can shock a pygmy. Or by moving your finger in a circular motion, you can either. Um, oh, geez, my bad. By moving your finger in a circular motion, you can start up a hurricane. And you can make all the pygmies uh, fly in the air and die. Now, that underwater scene that you saw before was the newest update um, with this app. What they, what you do is you swipe your finger or you swipe the water until a tidal wave comes up. And uh, it's just this underwater scene, so they might want to do some more stuff with this. But what you can do under here is if you tap this relic or the statue guardian, you can tap it and it'll shoot on arrow and kill the pygmy. I'll show you again. Oh, let me get a pygmy. There, as you can see. And to return back, you go like that. Now, before, there was a T-Rex, so I'm going to show you how to use that right now. Now, the T-Rex, what you do is you, you take that egg, you you got to pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. And then a little tiny dinosaur will pop out and a big T-Rex will come, as you can see. Now, um, I don't know where my weapon is, but a little spear should come out, uh, and you're, you'd be able to kill it with the pygmy, but if you don't have that weapon, you can just take it and keep bouncing it back with your finger. Now, um, this app gets 10 out of 10.
or a hundred out of a hundred. Now, um, I am doing a giveaway. So, I have one promo code for this app. If you want that promo, co promo code, you're going to need to subscribe to comment this video as many times as you want and rate it. And um, I will be giving the give. I will be giving um, the promo code out in one week. So um, look, watch out for that video. And if you're subscribed, it'll automatically come up in your subscription box. So um, do uh, do what you need to do to win. Uh, this is Lady Man, and thanks for watching.